It's called the Kraken, at least in pop culture, I suppose. I knew it as a rum, a nice spiced rum, followed by an NHL franchise out of Seattle. But now the Kraken is making headlines for being an, a sub-variant of COVID. So tell me about how this one differs from what we've seen already. You're right. So not just an oversized sea creature, but um, so I'll be referring to it as uh, the Omicron XBB15, which I recognize doesn't roll off the tongue. Uh, but really what it is, is a sub variant of one of the Omicron variants that we were seeing last year. So if you remember back to a year ago, kind of February, we had what we called the BA2 uh, variant of COVID. And this new one is a sub variant of that. And similar to what we were seeing last year, every time we had a new Omicron that came out, it was faster spreading. And that's what was most worrisome. And that's the same thing that we're seeing here as well. This one spreads even faster. This one is similar to the last one, overtaking uh, the, the different types of the virus that are circulating. So we're seeing more and more of it. And that's what's the cause of concern right now. Now, I had heard, though, speculation saying that every time we do get a subvariant, the actual symptoms lessen. They're less severe. Is that at all true? So it's not necessarily that uh, it's not a rule. Um, certainly, when there are any mutations in a virus, we expect that the fitness of the virus to be a little bit less. Um, that said, it's gained different skills, shall we say. So it spreads a lot faster, but perhaps some of those other aspects to it aren't quite as uh, as volatile or as, as profound. Now, that said, it looks like the actual severity of the illness is very similar with this new variant, this BA1, XBB15, uh, compared with what was going around beforehand, which is kind of BA5. Um, so all that is to say, very similar virus, it seems, in terms of severity from what we saw, you know, a few months ago, but spreading even faster than before. So it does spread faster. We do know that. What does that mean in regards to vaccination status? And like, what can people expect if they haven't had a vaccine in a while? Should they get it again? Or how does it factor in that play? Yeah, so I think a little bit more information is still needed about some of the specifics on it. But the most important part really is that you get that bivalent vaccine, the vaccine that was available starting last kind of October, November. So really, only about 20-25% of our population has had that bivalent vaccine, which is far lower than, of course, what we've been seeing before. So regardless of the number of vaccines that you've had from beforehand, whether you've had, you know, your first two vaccines, whether you've got a third, fourth, or even a fifth, getting that bivalent vaccine will give you that extra boost against Omicron. And that's that second valence uh, that we're seeing is that the first one is kind of the original type of COVID that you're being protected. And the second is Omicron. And this one is really a subvariant of that. So it's that extra protection that I really think you should get. 